at this point it's just funny hello bit of housekeeping i'm uh, not in the same spot anymore hello from sydney um you may notice that i put my fake plant behind me because i miss the fact that i could film outside in the garden there is a park across the road from me but i am scared of people so i'm not gonna not gonna embarrass myself like that so here i am i'm figuring out the best setup to film in i don't know what it's gonna be but for now here's a white wall and a fake plant am i doing youtube right question I've been asking for the last four years. I could do some very standard life update as to how moving to Sydney has gone and how uni is and am I making friends. I could do that. Or instead I could tell you about the fact that the last week and a half I have gone through more adult experiences, that sounds more dodgy than it is, um, than I have in my entire life. So I would like you to join me in the rejoicing of the fact that I am not dead <laughs> surprisingly and also the fact that I could have given this a really clickbaity title because essentially this is a story time video but I didn't do that this adventure begins about a week and a half ago when I woke up at four o'clock in the morning I'm gonna stress that this was at four o'clock in the morning to the sound of drips I was witnessing just a very continuous it's home. so I thought okay I'm gonna start collecting this water. So I got out my large bucket, put it under there, cleaned up the water, went back to bed. And then I woke up 10 minutes later and my entire light fixture became a water feature. And I don't mean it kind of dripped around it. I mean, there was water pouring out of all sides. I don't have any buckets left. Time to get the saucepans out. So I'll get a saucepan, put some more towels. I try and get some sleep. The light has slowly stopped pouring rain. I think there was just a build up. So I, I lie back in bed. I am covered in water. I'm just lying there waiting, just hoping this drip slow down. And the drips do. And then I notice something just across here, literally underneath where I'm currently sitting, a mass started growing. I, I can't even describe it. It it was huge. It was a sunken mat. It was like my ceiling was caving in. And this happened. So uh, this is what's happening currently. This is not good. That constant stream of water kept going for 20 minutes. At this point, I have broken down in tears. In hindsight, crying probably wasn't the best option. I already had enough water in the apartment. It turned out our roof was clogged with leaves. It's fixed, we're okay. Part two, three days ago, I am <laughs> getting out of the shower. And in my apartment block, we have a self timer light thing. You know, you put your, push it in and it comes back out slowly. Um, it, it turned off, so I had to put it back in. I had sopping wet hands. And you know, when you're a child and you hear don't touch light switches with your wet hands because you're going to electrocute yourself. I went to push it and felt what I at first thought was an, uh, you know, a static shock. It definitely wasn't. Sat down and realised I couldn't feel my fingers or my toes. That was scary. So I texted my friends and kind of just, oh, I may have given myself an electric shock. It's not funny. And I got a text back going, no, it's not. It's really not funny. I felt okay. I felt a little bit lightheaded, but it was definitely more serious than a slight zap because I couldn't feel my fingers. My contact point, which is my right hand, I couldn't feel. I did check my pulse as soon as it happened going, I'm going to have a heart attack. That's it. I'm going to die. So I called a nurse and they said I should probably go see a doctor within 12 hours. Woke up feeling fine. I am okay. My limbs are still intact. I'm not dead yet the third thing happened this morning i was having a very productive saturday morning i changed my sheets on my bed i did all the washing up i swept i never sweep i swept i made pancakes i was having such a good morning i sat down i kid you not took the first bite of my pancake and the smoke alarm goes off not my smoke alarm the building smoke alarm so i at first think someone's testing it because occasionally you know you hear a, a, a buzz it kept going and kept going and kept going so I put some shoes on, grabbed my keys, grabbed my phone, contemplated grabbing anything else, but thought, no, be safe, get out of the building. Left the building, smell smoke, I don't see anything. The rest of the building came out. Smoke was getting pretty bad. So I did the adult thing and called triple zero, which is 999 for anyone in the UK, 911 for anyone in the States. I don't know what the rest of the codes are. The emergency services. I've never had to call the emergency services before. That one itself was very exhilarating. It felt like an adult. It was, ooh, drama. They came, literally nothing was wrong. They couldn't find any sauce. They couldn't find any burnt toast. They couldn't find anyone's cigarettes. It was just a smoky house and no one knew why. So that was my week. I just want to add though, I thought it was just a cliche and a bit of a stereotype that all firefighters were attractive. I was wrong. 
But I think there's something really important that if you take away anything from my hellish week, it's that if you do smell smoke and you don't know and things aren't stopping and it's just, it, you, things are clearly a little bit off, call them. Call emergency services because it is better safe than sorry. Yep. Um, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go eat those cold pancakes. <laughs>